Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am filming a what I eat in a day on my leaky gut protocol. <laughs> channel usually I do like what I eat in a days following keto or keto whole 30 things like that but um, I will link the video up above as to why I am doing a three-week leaky gut protocol just because of some of the health issues that I have well not really health issues but just trying to make myself healthier and healthier as I can so it is now 9 23 in the morning I just woke up you know not really got ready obviously i don't look ready but you know just kind of getting things together for what i need to do today and um right now i am just making myself some tea i am not going to eat probably until around lunchtime because with being keto for like a year or so like i do just naturally practice intermittent fasting i don't make myself not eat it's just i'm not hungry at the moment so i won't eat until i actually get hungry so you guys can follow me along throughout the day see what i'm eating on this leaky gut protocol because it's new for me as well and the thing that i'm most sad about is that i can't can't have any coffee it's 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 bad like I think I've realized now that I'm addicted to coffee like it's an addiction because because I've been doing this diet for a couple days now I think I started like Friday I think it was and today is Monday and every single day that's the only thing that I want like I don't have a problem with all these other things that I'm eating I just want coffee. So let me show you what I'm what I am drinking this morning. I made this I think I showed this to you guys in that other video this organic gingerade it promotes healthy digestion and let me just tell you like being on this leaky gut protocol just for a couple days so far my digestion has been way way better like I'm not gonna say that you know all my bloating has gone away yet but just my like digestion has just been amazing like i have no problems sorry tmi but i have no problems like going to the bathroom and stuff which is amazing because when i was eating all that cheese and dairy on keto i was definitely not feeling the best so this is the tea and i also got peppermint but i usually try and have the ginger one first and then the peppermint one like in the afternoon or evening and so it is steeping right now it's probably almost done and by the way i didn't get to show you guys but i got this new travel mug i'll link it down below because i got it on amazon and i love it because it's ceramic the stainless steel ones that i've had before like they always retain the flavor of the beverage that you're drinking. So then if I'm drinking like coffee and I want to put something else in it, it's like all my stuff tastes like coffee or vice versa, you know, something like that. So this is ceramic and it comes with this like wooden handle and then you can take it. It's a travel mug so you can put this on top, but I've just been using it for my house. Like I'm going to use it for travel, but I haven't been traveling anywhere. So I just use it in my house and I love it. And I got my husband one that's like gray right here. I don't have it to show you cause he took it to work right now, but I'll try and show you guys another day. So my new mug and I made some homemade almond milk the other day and I've been loving it. Like this is the second jar it had made like, well it made almost two full jars. So I'll make it again, maybe next week to show you guys if you're interested, let me know down in the comments and I'll show you how to make that because it's really easy. And then this is just my vital proteins collagen. I had put it in a smaller jar because the container was so huge. So I'm going to blend my tea with almond milk and I'm not gonna blend it with the collagen because that ruins the proteins. So I'll just stir it in at the end, but I'm also going to blend some coconut oil in it today. Sorry, that's Graham playing in the background with his new toy. Um, and this is the coconut oil. Someone asked me, this is the coconut oil that I get. It is naturally refined and organic. And the reason I get the refined one is because I hate coconut flavor. Like, I don't know. I guess it's because I had so much coconut when I first went paleo, but I really do not like coconut flavor. So I get this one and it does not have a flavor at all. So when I cook with like vegetables and savory foods, it does not taste like coconut and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend up my drink and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Well, 
o'clock. As you can see, I changed, I showered. I look pretty decent now, which is great. But um, I was working on some things and I'm actually pretty hungry right now. And I do need to like go to the store and go to the post office and stuff like that. So I wanna make sure that I'm eating before I go and do those things. I'm going to make a quick like broccoli soup with kale and spinach with my homemade bone broth. And I actually made the bone broth. We had had a whole chicken the other night. I bought a whole organic chicken at Aldi. And after we like ate it, I took more of the meat off the bones and then I threw it in my Instant Pot and cooked it like completely overnight. And I have a recipe and everything. I'll link it up above for how you can make bone broth because it's super easy and way cheaper, way cheaper than buying it at the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this soup together, probably eat a bunch of it. I don't really have any meat to eat with it because I don't really have, I don't think I have any meat cooked. I can look at my leftovers and see, but I'm not too worried about that because I can always eat something like some leftovers when I get home or something. And so let's go ahead and cook some soup. <laughs> digestive enzyme that I need to take. Um, usually I take it after I'm eating and I'll show you what those look like. So it's just the now super enzymes and it just helps you break down like the fats, carbs, and protein that you're eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. It is 6.36 and I made myself a little dinner. We have some sauteed Brussels sprouts, a spring onion, spinach, and three egg yolks it was. And I put turmeric, Old Bay, salt, pepper. I think that was it. <laughs> and then this um, salmon was just like a leftover piece from last night. And then I have some fridge pickles. These cucumbers came from my garden and I just put them in like vinegar and dill and red pepper. My actual fermented pickles are right there and they are not ready yet. They're good, they're tasting salty, but they're not quite ready yet. So that's why I haven't eaten those on my plate yet. Then earlier I drank this cosmic cranberry kombucha while I was doing um, some errands and stuff while I was out and about. This is a really good flavor, I really like this. And then I also have peppermint tea with almond milk and collagen. And so this is going to be my dinner. And for dessert or snack later, I have a peach. Oh, I have some like almond pulp from me making almond milk. I was trying to dry it out a little bit, but I have an apple and a peach in the oven. So the other day I had put a peach in the oven because it was a recipe from like Dr. X's cookbook. And you put the peach in the oven and then you topped it with, um, goat yogurt mixed with chia seeds and then you like drizzled a little bit of raw honey on top it was amazing it was so good it literally i felt like i was eating peach pie 
So I figured I would do it with an apple and a peach. Like I wanna try each of them and then the other half can be for like my husband. And so I already have my chia seeds mixed in with some of my goat yogurt and then I can just top it with honey and I will show you guys that after I eat my dinner. This is, I'm trying out a half of a peach and a half of an apple cause I wanna see which one I like the best. The other day I had the pe like just peach and I loved it so much, it was so good. So I mixed some chia seeds in some goat yogurt and that way it turned into like a pudding consistency. And then I topped this with some raw local honey and a sprinkle of cinnamon. And I'm going to eat this. I think it's almost eight o'clock. So this is definitely gonna be the last thing I eat today. Even though I'm eating, you know, a little bit higher carb and stuff, I still stay full for a really long time. I think it's just because of me being keto for a really long time. So I'm going to eat this. And that's about it for today because I don't plan on eating anything else. I'm drinking my tea, eating my like little snack dessert or whatever. I'm not going to pop any macros or calories up on the screen like I used to do for my keto meals because this is going to be higher carb and I don't want people from my channel coming here and then thinking that keto means that they can eat, you know, peaches and honey and stuff like that because, you know, if you're really doing strict keto, obviously that's not what that means. But for me, since I'm trying to heal my gut and I'm doing this specific protocol, I'm trying to eat all these foods that will heal my gut and help all that good bacteria flourish. So that's why I'm doing this right now. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I hope that if you're trying a leaky gut protocol, I hope that this kind of helps you just to see like what you can eat during the day and stuff. Cause I know it feels terrible taking all those foods out and only having a little bit to eat from. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.